Now, the truce between Israel and Hamas is still holding out. As a result, over 60 Israelis and 180 Palestinian prisoners have been released so far. Now, the scenes of tearful family union reunions evoked emotions of happiness, relief, mixed with, of course, anxiety and fear of what's to come. But what hostages and prisoners have been revealing, that's quite the opposite. Israelis have been held hostage since the October 7th attacks. According to Hamas, the prisoners were kept in quote-unquote safe places within Gaza. However, we're talking about the hostages which were kept in Gaza. However, no one knows in which part of Gaza these so-called safe places are located. But one can get an idea about the conditions at these places through the first-hand account of released hostages and their relatives. Now, the aunt of a released 12-year-old French hostage says her nephew experienced horrors that no one should. Etan apparemment a passé des horreurs là-bas. Euh, le Hamas ISIS, il est obligé de voir le film d'horreur que personne ne veut voir. Il est obligé à regarder ça. According to the account by Israeli families, women and children who have been released are sharing harrowing details of being beaten and threatened with death. They were forced to whisper during the weeks that they spent in Gaza and the families of two girls who were recently released say their children are speaking only in whispers now. One can only understand the trauma that they've endured. Further officials at Israeli hospitals say hostages experienced poor nutritional health and many with chronic diseases were denied medical treatment, causing serious health problems. Daughter of a released 84-year-old hostage says they are being held in terrible conditions. We didn't want them to become a symbol. We didn't want um, that Hamas will use that. That because they are a symbol, they will they will use that to to, to be to do a, a harder negotiation. The kids, you don't need to negotiate negotiate about it. They, I I, I don't know what Hamas was thinking when they kidnapped uh, Kfir and Ariel. What, what 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 they're afraid of. As per the agreement, Israel has also released around 180 Palestinian prisoners. Stories of Palestinians about the. Hideous conditions within Israeli prisons are equally terrifying. They have spoken about aggression in the Israeli prisons. Meanwhile, talks are also underway about a second extension of the truce. If the temporary ceasefire continues for another four days, more hostages and prisoners could be released on both the sides. Israel says for every additional release of 10 of its hostages, the truce could be extended for one more day. Hamas took over 240 hostages from southern Israel in the October 7th attack. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.